years since Trucks Gone Wild has been right here at the official national headquarters for Rice Trailers. Josh Rice, man, you're the guy that kind of keeps things moving. You got a whole team of people here. And we know that since we were here one year ago, there have been a lot of changes, man. Let's talk about some of those. Due to all the marketing that we've been doing with you guys right. and throughout all the industry, man, we've, we've had to. So, but here's what happens, right? The marketing pays off, the audience grows, the demand grows, and you've got to get those trailers to the people. Yeah. Right? So that's the challenge, yeah. I would guess. That so what thinking. we've done, we've added around about 20,000 square foot on our, our facility. Right. We've got uh, four new robotic stations that we've added on and a whole new monorail system. We've got a lot of cool stuff in All there. right, and that's all going on in that new building that oh, yeah. wasn't here last time? Yeah. Cool, let's go check that out. Let's go check it out. So last year, one robot. This year, new buildings, new robots, and this. Boom, love it. What's going down with this? 24 foot gantry right. robot. Okay, you got a panic on the end, and it's rocking and rolling. We're going as fast as we can build trailers, inhumanly possible, that is. <laughs> right. you know? I think the idea here, is standardizing them and right. precision, right? Yes. Yes. Everything's the same. So when you look at this, we're building 12 different models out of this thing. Okay. And every single weld is almost looks identical. Right. So that's the great thing about it. Every trailer is square. There's there's no mess ups, no nothing, and the people love working with it. Your productivity goes out the roof. Well, I would imagine so. Yeah. Yeah. And then that can get to the guys for the finishers right. a lot quicker. Exactly. So everybody's still working. Mm -hmm. It's you're actually got probably more people working. Yeah, a lot yeah. more. So that's good. Yeah, that's cool. And you guys built all this too. Yeah, a hundred percent integrated in house from the jig, from everything that you're looking at. We bought this robot, it was sitting on the ground. Right. Yeah. So we built everything you see around it and everything that I'm gonna show you. We've done it all. All the software and everything. Everything. It's not like y'all are just some dummies sitting around getting drunk building trailers. Well, only sometimes. <laughs> so, you know, you've seen it. Yeah. You want to build a trailer? Yeah, I want to build a trailer. But I need to build like an 18-foot car hauler, right? And I've only got 14 or 15 minutes to do it. Well, so. today's your lucky day because I think we can make that happen. And you know what? You might have a little bit of time to spare. All right. So when our last step is done, it slides down here on the rail, it's still upside down, and now this will actually weld the tongue in place, right? right? Yeah, so that's what we're doing here. This thing's welding the tongue in, and we're just looking to get a little bit better of a quality weld, more consistent, Right. back, back to that same aspect that we're doing over there. So that's what we're doing here. And then we put a nice big weave on it, so it looks real pretty. Cool. Josh, I love coming up here because I feel like a little kid when I come into the shop. Dude, I love the robot, right? Yeah. Robots are great. Yeah. Very cool. But you know what's cooler than just one robot? Uh, nothing. Uh, <laughs> more robots. Whoa, yes, yeah. more robots. Always cool, man. I've got to imagine, as fast as that's going, with these in the mix, they're going to be flying out of oh, here. Oh, two times the speed. Two that's way cool. speed. So what's this whole system that you got here? This, too, this is our new, is what it is called, it's actually called a skid conveyor. Right. And this is technology that we've kind of mm, developed, I guess you could say, a little bit. So you slide that piece. Right, right. So that's going to be carrying what you were looking at over there, which is a jig, be carried on that. And that'll be coming in and out. So we'll have a continuous flow of trailers coming in here. We're looking probably seven minutes at well time. That's impressive. Go boom, 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 boom. That's what we're doing. When I see that though, you know what I'm thinking? Really? Right? I don't know why you were shaking your head so much, Dan. I mean, they were pretty good poses, if I'm being honest. But I mean, whatever. No yeah. big deal. Yeah, you know. I mean, you know, it is what it is. So from there, it gets hung up here and set down there, right? Right. right. So what's this all about? So what this is, it's a monorail. Yeah. So we hang them up here, and this is probably, I don't know, 1,200 foot long, right. something like that. Horseshoes around through our whole factory, and it doesn't come off until it is absolutely done. So we continue the monorail ride on that side around, and we went through the blast room, right. and we took it down to bare metal. Right. And then we could come in here and play some video games into the paint room. Pretty yeah. cool, man. I like yeah. this, dude. Tell me about this. What we have here, it's a six axis, painting, machine, robot, whatever, whatever you want to call it, it's developed 100% in-house. Yeah. We'll roll a trailer in here, say that car hauler that you just got done building. Yeah. Yeah. We roll it in here, okay, you start painting it, okay, and once we get to the point that we know that everything's covered, then it's, as you're painting in real time, it's recording every single move that you're making. So the next one that you decide to come and build again, we can run that same program on it. 
So that brings us back around right. the original building. We were here last year. Yeah. Things look a little bit different because you've arranged things yeah. differently, right? Yeah. Because so of the increase in production. Right. So we retooled in there. So right. we retooled pretty much our whole factory. Right. So that's what you're seeing there. This is beautiful, man. Yeah. Beautiful. And that's that's the advantages of, of the uh, CNC equipment, the robots that we have, we're able to get a more consistent finish like this, like yep. you see. And that is just, that's what we want. We want that gloss level to be right there. And that's what our customers want. Yep. And then that goes back to the increased sales in it. And that's why. It's because we're pushing out this product and it's the same every time. Yep. That's what we're trying to, trying to give to people. Josh, thanks, man. I always appreciate the tour. Thanks for putting up with my jokes and pushing me around on the thing. You know, it's always fun to come out here to the manufacturing plant and check it all out. What a difference a year makes, man. I'm proud of you guys. It's fun to watch a business like this grow, and it's cool to come back. I can't wait for next year to see what happens. Right. Right. Bigger, better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Now, I just want to make sure everybody's clear on this, is we work together for sure, but I bought my own rice trailer. I didn't call you and ask for one, you know what I mean? I got with my local trailer dealer, and I got it specifically for what I needed it for to haul my swamp buggy around. I love it, people ask me about it all the time, and I figure, you know, they're like, hey, where do I get a trailer like that? You're probably the best guy to tell them what they need to do. So all you've got to do is you go to your local trailer dealer. If they already have rice trailers, you're in good. Right. If they don't, all you got to do is ask for it, and then that's They'll get with you guys. Right. They get with us, and then you, you, you've seen our manufacturing process, and hopefully that'll persuade some people there. Yeah. I love the combination, man. Rice trailers, trucks gone wild. Who needs trailers more than the trucks gone wild dysfunctional family, man, hauling right. around mud trucks and side-by-sides oh, yeah. and all that. Dude, I'm telling you, rice trailers, trucks gone wild, Matt Steele taking over the world. Wow.